This week we're talking about the tea blouse. Traditional dress codes are dying out and so are the divisions between our work lives and our home lives. And because of that, the clothes that are the most useful are those that can bridge those gaps that can go from being formal to informal, on duty and off duty. The tea blouse, which brings together the utility and the comfort of a t-shirt with the sense of occasion that you get from wearing a blouse, is a perfect new option. The fundamental distinguishing characteristics of a tea blouse, like this Reese one that I'm wearing today, is the sort of simplicity of silhouette that you get from a t-shirt with the higher level of finish and fabric of a blouse. This one I'm wearing is in pink, which is one of this season's very hot colours. And this one here is in another of the colours of the season, this kind of electric blue. This one's from Hobbs and similarly has a very simple t-shirt shape, but with just a slightly higher sort of elegance level, I think, around the little turned over cuffs here and a little finish around the neck here and in this lovely silk. This one here is Tara Jarman. I think one of the nice things about the tea blouse trend is that it's a good option if you want something that's a little bit smarter than a t-shirt, but the whole girly feminine blouse thing isn't really your bag. And it's a bit more fun than going with the very serious shirt option. This one has this sort of scuba neoprene fabric so it's very sporty in feel but because it has a lot of structure it's also quite formal and looks quite dressed up. I think what makes the tea blouse really quite a pleasure to shop for is that it has that virtue of being a nice new top that you know you're going to be able to put on with jeans at the weekend but you can also put on with a pencil skirt and go to work. It's very versatile and will slot right into your wardrobe and cheer up lots of old outfits. This one is Weekend by John Lewis. If you're looking for a new print for your wardrobe, then I think this kind of sludgy, sort of mosaic-y, painterly graphic is a really good option to go for because it looks very modern without looking too fashion. So it's just a really nice, easy update from a floral. This one here is Ted Baker. What's really useful about these kind of tea blouses is that they are very versatile. If you wear this style just unadorned and with your hair loose, it looks very casual, but if you want to put your hair up a chignon and wear a big kind of statement necklace with that, then it becomes a really formal top that you can wear as evening wear. And the last top you have on the rail is this one by LK Bennett. It's a beautiful print, kind of a bit 20s, a bit deco, but it's also really beautiful cut. It's got these little puffy sections at the shoulders, which make your shoulders look broader so the rest of you look narrower. And it has along this seam a concealed zip which means that it can be actually cut slim fit to your body than the kind of boxy t-shirt shape, which isn't always that flattering. Clothes change because our world changes. That's what fashion means. It's our wardrobes keeping up with our lives. The tea blouse is the new half and half that works in our new half and half lifestyles. 